for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm sure we can do better than that. Put those hands together for the Lord. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I hope you all slept well. Praise God. Thank you, Father. I want to say thank you to my grandfather. I've always said on this mountain, I'm the only one that has a grandfather and a father in the house. Please, can you celebrate my father and my grandfather? All right. Uh, in this session, we will be standing in the gap for the nation Nigeria. The Bible said in John chapter 4, verse 24, that God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the Bible told us in Genesis chapter 3 that God at the cool of evening came down to have fellowship with man. In other words, God has always been interested in the things of the spirit because he's a spirit. He does not relate with the, with the flesh. He does not relate with the carnal mind. He relate with the spirit. Praise the Lord. And so we have come on this mountain because God has washed us by the blood. God has made us righteous through Jesus. That's why we can fellowship with him this morning. Praise the Lord. And I want us to look at the scripture in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 as we pray this morning. We want to pray for Nigeria. If your Nigeria is good, you can keep fire this morning. For my Nigeria needs prayers. Praise the Lord. Second Chronicles 7 and verse 13 and 14. Are we there? Second Chronicles chapter 7. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles 7, 13, God speaking, said, if he decides to send pestilence upon the nations, if he decides to send calamity upon the nation, praise the Lord, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Praise the Lord. So much has been done in Nigeria that I will not say God is not aware of what is going on in Nigeria. In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10, he said he has given us the power to uproot what is whatever is not working in the system. He has given us the power to destroy whatever is not working. He has given us the power to plant, to in order what to recreate that which we want to see happen in this country. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And he told us in First Timothy 2:2. That it is good for us to pray for those in leaders, in leadership. It is good for us to pray for them because there is no power, there is no authority that God is not aware of. And so this morning, I believe it's our responsibility to turn around things for the good of this nation. Praise the Lord. The Bible speaking said, Those that love the peace of Jerusalem shall pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And so this morning, I want you to grab somebody beside you. I want you to hold somebody beside you. The Bible said if we call on God, He will hear us, He will forgive us, He will heal our land. And I want us to cry out to God for mercy upon Nigeria this morning. Can we cry out for mercy? My Father, my God, by the blood of your covenant and by your mercy, Show mercy upon Nigeria. Let your mercy prevail in Nigeria. Can you turn that to your prayer this morning? My Lord, my Father, 
We ask for your mercy in this great land, Nigeria. We ask for your mercy upon this nation. We ask for your mercy, O oh Lord, my Father. In any way we are falling short of your glory, in any way our forefathers are falling short of your expectation, we ask for your mercy. This morning, O oh Lord, we have called even according to your word. You say, if your people, which are called by your name, will humble themselves before you, seek your face and prayer, Lord, you said you will hear. Father, this morning, we lift up our voices as your children. We ask for mercy upon Nigeria. We ask for mercy upon this nation. We ask for mercy. We ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Still holding that person, we are going to ask that God, Lord, revive this nation. Revive Nigeria. Let fresh fire come upon this nation. Let fresh fire come upon the leadership of this nation. Lift up your voice with me, my Father, my God. In the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh Lord, for revival upon the land. We ask, O oh Lord, for your fresh fire upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, turn down to your prayer. O oh Lord God Almighty, we ask for revival upon this nation. We ask for your revival. We ask, O oh Lord, for fresh fire upon this nation. Let your fire come upon this nation. Let your fire come upon Nigeria. Lord, let there be revival in every corridors of power. Let there be revival in every realm of this country. Let there be revival in the system of this nation. Lord, let your revival come upon us. My Lord, my God, we ask for fresh fire upon this nation. Let your fire. Hey! Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to ask God for wisdom upon the leadership of this nation. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. The Bible says, through wisdom a house is established. We are going to ask God, Lord, let wisdom, fresh wisdom, come upon the leadership of this nation. Lift up your voice, sir. Father, we ask for wisdom upon the leadership of this nation. We stand, O oh Lord, in the camp today. We ask for your wisdom. We ask for your unbridled wisdom, Lord, upon this nation. Every leader in this nation, Every leader, king of glory, from the, from, from the local government, father to the presidency, we ask my father that your wisdom should come upon them. Wisdom to do the right things. Wisdom, O oh Lord, to implement the right decisions. Wisdom, Lord, king of glory, to harness the resources of this great nation. Father, let your wisdom come upon us. Let your wisdom come upon this nation. Let your wisdom Come upon this nation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We know that in the place of authority, both the good, the bad, the ugly are there. But God said we have the power to uproot. And so we are going to uproot the bad eggs in the government. We are going to send a word of decree. Our Father said yesterday, that the words we speak, they have power to bring to pass whatever we desire. We are going to lift up our voice, Heavenly Father, our Lord and our God. Today, we stand in agreement in your word, in Matthew 18, 18, that says, whatsoever two of us shall agree, as touching anything, we will do. Today, Lord, we dethrone any man any woman in the corridors of power that is there for their sensual purpose. Father, we send a decree into the corridors of power. We sack all the corrupt leaders. We sack all the corrupt leaders. We declare, let them vacate from that office. For it is written, when the righteous reign, the people rejoice. When the wicked are in authority, the people murmur. 
Lord, we command her from this day of else for her. Let the corridors of power be rid of every corrupt leader, sir. Hey, la kapa yadada. Man de ke potosia. Man yando kopa yadada. Endo zi kapa yade. Lord, we command her from the corridors of power. Let every wicked man, let every wicked woman, let every weak corrupt leader, Father, let your judgment locate them where they are. Let your judgment locate them. Let your judgment locate them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to talk to God that every wickedness, every darkness in the corridors of power that God should uproot today. The Bible said when men went to sleep, the enemy came to so tires. Yesterday, our daddy said, you must not wait until they begin to put it to shame in your family. desire for this nation. Can you begin to call them forth? I don't know what you desire, but begin to call them. That thing you desire, call it forth. Ah, my Lord, my God, ah, this morning we declare, we declare, we call forth, oh Lord, ah, every good thinking of glory that you have created ah, to make Nigeria a country. Father, you have created this country with so much wealth. Ah, we command those wealth. Ah, to serve the needs of the people. We call for, O oh Lord, a good educational system in this country. We call for, O oh Lord, a every system that is workable. We call for, O oh Lord, a an accountable system in this nation. We call for, O oh Lord, a leaders, king of glory, that will know they have come to serve the people and not to oppress them. We call for, O oh Lord, a people that will be mindful of what others are saying about them. Lord will declare in Nigeria, full of baker, Lord will make an honey. We declare in Nigeria, where well, O King of Glory, everyone uh, is partaking in the in, in the national resources. Uh, we come for the Nigeria that we expect the best hospitals, uh, the best health care, anywhere in the nation. We come for the Lord uh, in Nigeria, King of Glory, that is a pleasure uh, where you can go out any time of the day and you are at peace, there are no molestation. Lord will bless you. Lord will give you praise. 
return all glory to you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can you lift up your voice and just appreciate God for answer to your prayers this morning? Thank you for answer to your prayers. That the Nigeria of your dream is finally coming to pass. The Nigeria of your dream is what you're going to see in these remaining days of the year. The Nigeria you've always wanted, that is what you will see. Father, we thank you this morning. We give you praise because the word said as we have spoken into your ears, so shall you do. Lord, we appreciate you because we know you have heard us this morning. Thank you for answer to our prayers. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you. We appreciate you. Because your God that hears and answers prayers. Lord, thank you because we know whatever we have desired to see in Nigeria shall begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. Lord, we shall not die, but we will live to see the goodness of Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? Yeah. Glory to Jesus. Come on, you put your hands together for Jesus. How many of you love this nation, Nigeria? Nigeria is our country. Nigeria is our nation. We do not have any other country. It does not matter how many years somebody living in the U.S. have naturalized. Nigerian blood still flows in. Amen? When we all clamor for a change of nation, what we should actually be asking for is a change of the mind of the people. Because when we have changed people, we have a changed nation. Until people in the nation are changed, the nation can never be changed. The root of change is in the mind of man. And whoever is in control of that mind is in control of the nation. He said, let this mind be you which was also in Christ Jesus. There is always a mind required that must be in everyone in the nation. For that nation to truly be changed. He said in Philemon verse 14. Without thy mind will I do nothing. Without your mind will I what? Do nothing. Each and every one of us sitting here. It will amaze you that some believers, even some Christians. They break traffic rules. Are you hearing? Even believer, Christian, break traffic rules. Let it begin with you. Don't say, oh, God, you don't know. This is Lagos. If you just kill there, they won't let you go. Listen to me. The father that sees you in secret, he will reward you openly. It does not matter how many people are doing what is wrong. It does not make what is wrong to be right. If we are saying Nigeria will be good, our nation will be good. Then let us re release ourselves for this Holy Spirit to preach upon us and change us. Oftentimes you hear leaders of nations say, oh, they are appealing to the churches. Praise the Lord. It's not the building they are appealing to. They are appealing to you and I. 
So mountain of transfiguration like this is the place where God formed the mind. Transformed people. ground is here. It's in the mind. There are forces that want to confirm you, to make you a liar, to make you a fornicator, to make you a bad character, to make you a useless person. But you have to resist it. It's constantly coming upon people. Are you hearing? The, in, the, the Satan, Satan's target is not your body. May I shock you with this? Satan's target is not your body. It's not your Bible. It's not your business. The target of the devil is your mind. Because he has discovered that secret ages before you were born that if I can be in control of the mind of these people, I'm in control of their life. That is why you see that certain villages, certain people, they behave the same way, they act the same way, they dress the same way. This thing is programmed in the mind. Have you not heard of family that almost everybody there is a thief? Are you hearing? Almost everybody is a thief. All of them think like they think like what? Like a robber. Now it's not dead. Many of them have even cried to God secretly. What can I do? It is because there is a pattern Satan has what for for you. Talking about nation, that is why all over the nation, all over the world. Now, the fear of Nigeria is becoming the beginning, with the beginning of Muslim. I'm not making sense to somebody. But that will no longer be. When Nigerians travel, we pray in the name of Jesus, they will be forced to reckon with. A mind. As you are sitting here, let it begin with you. And how will it happen? Because this night at the VG, I will be explaining more about the stronghold mystery. This thing, Satan is not, is not fighting your business. He's not fighting your family. He's fighting mind. And that is why his concentration now is on the children, on the youth. If you can get them, get them from, the, from their infancy, from their youth, I have got their future. There are things that is in the spirit realm concerning nation, concerning family, concerning individual, that only the power of God can dismantle it. They call it divine program. Have you heard it? There is a program in the spiritual. Sorry. There is a program in the spiritual that a certain age, certain thing triggers in your life. And that is why the devil goes to and fro to come and inspect each family. As he kick up here. No, this one is 10 years time. As he kicked up here. No, this one. He walked to and fro, seeking whom he will want. Devour. Have you heard him? Hallelujah. So, the concentration should be, oh God, Whatever strange mindset I have inherited, whatever strange pattern that my destiny is following that ought not to be, that is making me to that is making me to be to be seen like somebody who does not have the future. I pray, let so strong be put up. The mind of the people. Whoever captures your mind has captured your life. Whoever captures your mind has captured. That is why I say I know the thoughts that I think to us. He said, my ways are not your ways. The way I think is not the way you think. He gave us syllabus of thought in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. If there is anything good. He said, finally my brethren. Finally my brethren. Finally my brethren. In other words, nothing was to hurt. Nothing to surprise. Finally my brethren. Whatsoever that is what? Good, pure, just, lovely, of good report, of any virtue. He said, think on this. That is syllabus of thought. God has narrowed down your thoughts to this way so that you, you have no choice of what to think of. He has given you one. If it is not just, if it is not good report, if it is not of any virtue, if it is not honest, if it is not good, don't think of it because if you veered your mind outside of that domain, 
I'm telling you, you are playing on a dangerous ground with your mind. And unfortunately, a lot of people have been captured without them knowing. That is why we have this nation. Many young, many little, little West African nations look at Nigerians and they look at, they look down Nigeria. That can no longer be. Let it start from you. Make up your mind. Our own mindset, Satan has made us believe that if we don't tell lies, we cannot be free from that case. It's a strange mindset. If we do not steal, we can't be free from it. If we do not fornicate before wedding, before wedding, we know now will I know that she's 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 a virgin or she, she's inter, she can cause it. That is a strange mindset. That is the that is what the devil has built in the minds of the kind of people out there. But God said, my ways are not your ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. We are not in the same pedestal of thinking. That is why I said, come up either. Come up either. Come up here. Begin to have a higher thoughts. Begin to have a higher mind. Higher thought is that look, even though I have every reason not to forgive him, but I let him go. I'm thinking like he's thinking. I don't know why he asked me to forgive even those who hurt me. But let it go. He's a higher mind, sir. In the, in the minds of a Kanama, he does not see why he should forgive somebody who has offended him. It's a different way we think. Are you hearing? The thoughts, our mind, our mind, our mind. And what can I do to actually capture this mind? What can I do to arrest this mind? What can I do to tailor this mind, to cause this mind to follow the dictates and the pattern of the spirit? Then he said, renew your mind. Renew it. And there is no potent weapon that can renew the mind that is created by God, like an instrument subjected by God himself. Am I making sense to somebody? God has given unto you the word of life. That is why he said, meditate upon these things. Meditate upon these things. Meditate upon these things. As you are thinking on the word of God, there is something going on inside of you. You are seeing yourself in the mirror of his word. I have never seen anybody who truly meditated on the word of God that will not see his nakedness. Oh, you don't understand what I'm talking about. The word of God is a mirror. It will reveal to you where there is death, where there is oh my goodness. Do you understand? Who shall look at into the perfect law of liberty and continue the earning? He be not a forgetful hearer, but a draw of that word. See that man. He shall be blessed in his days. James 1.25 Hallelujah. Your mind will no longer work against you. What is the root? What is the cause of bad dreams? Wrong thoughts. For as he thinketh in his heart. For as he thinketh in his heart. There are thoughts we carry to bear. It will play out like cases when you sleep. Am I making sense to somebody? There are minds we carry to bear. You have to flush some strength in. That is why every day constant battle is with anything you see negative thoughts. Pull it down. For though we walk in this in the flesh, but we, are, we, we do not walk after the flesh. Second Corinthians chapter ten verse three. He said, "For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds and casting down imaginations and every eye of the exalted itself against the knowledge of the Lord and bringing into captivity every thought into the obedience of Christ. Bringing into captivity. What is the captive? Every thought. What is the target that you must bring down? Every thought." Every thought, the thought of suicide, the thought of stealing, the thought of lying, the thought of fighting, the thought of not forgiving, the thought of cheating, every evil thought, bring it into captivity. No. No. Satan is making it to feel that, look, you are naked. If you don't go through this way, you are finished. It's not, it's not true. Not everybody that is high flying today is a robber. Not everybody that is swearing hard, that is doing well, is a thief. There are mighty, there are people that are swearing hard, and yet they are pure, not corrupted. Are you hearing? Elijah came before the Lord, thinking that he was the holy, only holy man of God. Because they look at him. I still have 7,000 that have not bowed to power. Say, wow, I've never seen that. Is it because I gave you promises? I'm not making sense to somebody. Never say it's impossible to live a holy life. Never say it's impossible to give. Satan will always tell you when you part with this, which one will be left. That is the mindset of the natural man. I'm not making sense to somebody. Which one is left? Which one is left? Mindset. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who though being the form of God, but he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. 
He taught it not robbery to be equal with God. He's in the class of God, but he has a mindset of humility. Are you hearing? There are people whose mind is so wrong. The moment you give them position, the moment you give them money, the moment you that position takes their take up their character, you will now begin to see it's, it's rooted in the mind. You will now begin to see that somebody who is quiet before suddenly begin to dominate as if he has never been denied before. Am I making sense to somebody? So they become using the power to afflict and to oppress because it's in the mind. Wrong mindset. Forgetting that the higher you go, the more humble you should become. Am I making sense to somebody? Say right here. Wrong mindset. 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 Three things we are going to do today with ourselves because if you are changed, everyone around you, there is that possibility that they will be changed because this change is contagious. I'm not making sense to somebody. I said this change is contagious. This change is contagious. This change is contagious. This change is contagious. The Bible revealed to us in Ezekiel chapter 47, wherever the river flows, everything that the river makes must live. There is that there there is somebody is coming with a higher unction and he meets somebody with a lesser power. The Bible says without contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. It's because you have not contacted it. After this meeting, everyone that used to steal before, when they connect with you, they will stop stealing. Kaya Goda Shakata. That is a higher river flowing. One of my sons was sharing a testimony that first that it really interests me on Sunday. Was it on Sunday? He said that he used to play um, what's now? Niger Bet. He was sharing this testimony. Was it on Sunday? He was sharing this testimony on Sunday. He used to play Niger Bet. And he has a group of friends that every time, is it every day, it's almost every week, they make every day they make 30,000. And it's each of them. Are you following? Little did they know they now came for one anointing service, open up in the church. Are you following? He said, The day all of them came for anointing service, and hand was laid on them. Jesus revealed himself to them. That was the last time they made money. That was the last time they made money. Why will God stop what you think is good? He took you off from wrong mindset and implant his own right mindset into you. Am I making sense to somebody? There is a way that cement right unto a man, Proverbs 16 25. But the hand thereof are the ways of death. Because he loves you, he has to extend his love to you, bringing you out of darkness. What you call light to you. Is darkness. That is why I say, My thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. As the heaven is higher than the heart, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts, and my ways are your ways. The way God is thinking is not the way we are thinking. We need to begin to deal with this. And that is why renewal of your mind is on a daily basis. As you study the word of God, you meditate on the word of God. Make sure that you rub minds. Every time you are meditating, you are rubbing your minds. You are rubbing your minds with God. And the more you rub your mind with the rivers that cannot be overflowed, the seed that cannot be exhausted, what happens is that it washes the surface of your mind. Everything rooted and planted at the thought of God, he uproot it and pawn it up. And leaving you with a clean mind, a mind that is so pure that can see God. No wonder I say, blessed are the pure in the heart, for they shall see God. You cannot see the reason why this generation cannot see God. Because their heart is corrupt, it's devilish, it's bad, it's captured. And how will God be? Rise on your faith. Lay hold on your head and say, Father. Now, let me show you these three points. We are going to deal with it this night. <laughs> I didn't know I would come up. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 4. Three things we are going to deal with. We still have about a few more minutes, about seven minutes. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number 4 to 5. Everybody read. For the weapons of our warfare are not what? Canal. But what? Mighty. Through God to the pulling down of stronghold. Now, what, what are the weapons? One of them is your ability to pray. Are you hearing me? Now, the first thing he does, which we are going to deal more with in the night, he said, number, no, go back to verse 4. Everybody read verse 4, please. He said, for the weapons of our weapon are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down. Pulling down. Say pulling down. Pulling down. What do you pull down? Is it not what has been erected? 
There are things erected. Many of you, that is what the Bible says. Tell them that are high minded. Kayabada. High minded. Skyscraper in the negative thoughts. In their mind, there are people walking with 25 story building of what negativity. Tell them that are high minded in this world. Tell them that they should not trust in uncertain riches, but in the true and the living God. Are you hearing me? There is a way that cement right unto a man. Some people thought they have arrived, not knowing that they are not even in the radar of God. There, are, there is a church. Is it the church of Philadelphia or Laodicea? He said to them, He said, You thought you are rich, but you are poor. Lift up your voice and speak. Look, number one, let me just put it into the three together. Now, he said, Pulling down stronghold. Say, Number one, pulling down. Say, Pulling down. Number two, verse five, casting down. Imaginations, kelo shata, and every high thing. The pride is among this high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity. Now you put down, you cast down imaginations. Then you bring into captivity. You bind and say you must conform. Do you know there are many believers that are not in control of their life? Neither do Holy Spirit. But then what controls them? The result we see in your life tells us what controls you. Am I making sense to somebody? You will lift up your voice. These three things. In three minutes. Lord, Ilua Jaka no Kata. Whatever is the stronghold in my mind that is not in your in line with your will. I pull down now. Can you lift up your voice to heaven? Open your mouth and say, God, every stronghold that I have built for myself that is not in line with your will. Oh yeah, pull it down. Pull it down. Some of you think that, look, you shouldn't be the first person. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Know there are some people that believe that, look, even if they are wrong, they shouldn't be the first person to say sorry to their husband. That is a wrong mindset. Am I making sense to somebody? That is a wrong mindset. That is one thing that is common in Africa. You are going to lift up your voice. In fact, I see every wrong imagination. I cast it down in my mind and I open your mouth and pray. I cast down every wrong imagination. I tear apart. Are you sure you are praying? Do you know the meaning of this prayer? Every wrong imagination sir, that I have built over the years sir, against my life, sir, against my ministry, against my household, against my children. I tear apart. La kwata yonjo kote kete la dada kada kwa shata lo koto koro koto shitwa. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Lift up your voice. The final one is a bringing into captivity every thought. Open your mouth and say, Father, I bind every evil thought uh, that constantly comes to disturb my mind. I bind whatever thought, every programming of the wicked in my mind. Uh, I bind and I deprogram it. Uh, I scatter it. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Every programming from the pit of hell that is not of God, I tear apart. I tear it apart. I tear it apart. Do you know there are some people they cannot explain why? They always see negative in every good people do. It's, they can't help it. There are people that will sit down. All the thoughts that will be in their mind is that something terrible will happen. Something bad will happen. It's, it's a programming. And Satan is only waiting for them to lend their voice so that they can trigger it into action. Open your mouth and say, Father, every vain imagination, every wrong thought that have directed my life wrongly over the years, I cast you down, I pull you down, I tear you apart. This is a major deliverance taking place here. A major deliverance taking place here. Lord, cause me to begin to see the way you see. Lord, cause me to begin to hear the way you hear. Lord, cause me to begin to talk the way you talk. Lanju makata, itwa jagada pada pada, korokoto gatu juakata, lakwata gada gada. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. 
stretch forth your hands. I pray this day that which we have pulled down is forever pulled down. He said, I set you as a prophet of our nation this day to pull down, to root out, to plant, to throw down, and also to what? I pray in the name of Jesus that which has taken control of your mind over the years. You cannot explain. Why is my life like this? What is directing it? Equal jara ten nekete pada. That old, that controlling force that you cannot stop is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. I release fresh light. The word of God you are gathering from this mountain, it will show your life in Jesus' precious name. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. All the glory to Jesus. I tell you, Jesus has a lot for you in this meeting. You haven't seen anything. It will be pouring from heaven. Just open your heart. And if there is any of your friend that you know, he shouldn't be where he is right now. Tell him to pick the next available box. Because what changes people is not money you put in their hands. It's the light you put in their soul. It is the entrance of his world that gives life and it gives understanding unto the simple. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are here to pay for your accommodation, please take an explorer is waiting. Make sure you go forth and pay for your accommodation. On this kind of holy mountain, except they give you for free, don't take it by yourself. Alright? Glory to Jesus. You have to be sincere and be pure in everything you do. The Bible says, take away the little forces that spoils the vine. For our vine has what? Tender grain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Learn to do things right so that things can go right for you. It's a seed that any man sows that he will reap in the future. You can't escape your seed. If you cannot escape your seed, you can't escape the harvest of your seed. You cannot escape the harvest of your seed. No. The law of life that God has programmed it. A man is permitted and is confirmed and programmed to reap only what he sows. The Lord bless you. The Lord will keep you. In Jesus' precious name. I pray that the Spirit of God rest upon you like dew of heaven. Every hidden glory in you, I command the Lord to begin to manifest right now. The people you know not, let them arise and begin to serve you. In the mighty name of Jesus, right? He said in Isaiah 55, verse number 4 to 5, of David, of whom we are connected, Isaiah 55. As I read this and I quote it and prophesy it upon your life. Isaiah 55, verse number 4 and 5. Behold, I have given him, talking about David, witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Are you following? Now, behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations. You only call for one, but multiple nations will be on out to assist you. Did you see that? You will call for just a nation which you don't even know. Are you hearing me? But God said, nations that nations that knew thee not shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel. For he has glorified you. I only need one person to please show up. Lord, just send me one person. And by the time the answer comes, you have about 1,000 people by your side. You will come for one. I will send you nations. Watch it. If I be a servant of God, equal as Sarah Jenakate, Bagadanata Celia, I profess over your life, the nations that you know not will serve you. Those of nations are open unto you. Kings and kindreds with their lands and tribes and languages and families are released with their treasures to serve you. Go in this your mind, succeed, accept, prosper, do well. Beginning from this hour, I command your heaven to hover for good news, for alerts, for favor. All of your standing that is tied down is released. They are all released. Begin to reap your harvest beginning from now. In the name of Jesus. And God bless you. As we go and take, you know, a shower and dress up and get set for the next segment, which is starting 10 o'clock, but you are supposed to be here at 9.45. By 9.45, the bell will ring. 
So you have between now and 9.45 to tidy up. If you want to read, read. If you want to study, study. If you want to pray, pray. If you want to do whatever you want to do, just take your bath. You still have all of the time. 9.45, they will ring the bell and you'll be here. Praise God. Hallelujah. So exactly 10, the morning session will kick off. And what are we looking at? The mystery of financial dominion. Look, this is not the conventional way of learning how to make money. We are talking about the way of the spirit. God can make a multi-millionaire overnight. Even from what? From nothing to something. Talking about the mystery of financial dominion. It's a mystery. Not the wrongest way, not the wrong way that people are going about making money today. Are you hearing me? Satan makes you win bet Nigeria. You think you have arrived. You don't have anointing, no? That is not God's way. Are you hearing me? Praise God. God bless you. 